but everybody knew this was gonna happen, and I had faith that it wasn't. Embarrassing, Mom, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> While Liz has a full-on mental breakdown over the fact that Big Ed broke up with her and destroyed her life, Big Ed is hitting the gym and trying to recruit people to come on a vacation with him to Thailand. If any of that excites you, make sure you watch till the very end of this video because we're about to catch up on their story on 90 Day Fiance, Happily Ever After, as well as doing a bit of a deep dive on Ed's Instagram to see what his post-show single life has been like. Let's see if we can hit 5,000 likes on this one, and without any further ado, let's get right on into it, shall we? I mean, I would be a fool not to admit that, you know, you do miss the relationship. So I'm kind of lonely. He's thinking but. to himself right now, yeah, my uh, house is pretty dirty and I'm a little bit too cheap to hire a maid. Slash the last one that I interviewed for just, you know, got weird vibes for me so she wouldn't commit to doing the house cleaning. So I really am missing Liz, at least from the fact of, uh, you know, she kept the house clean and kept me feeling good about myself. Like really all the actual stuff involving the love portion of their relationship, Ed doesn't give a damn about. And he can't miss it because he never fully experienced it anyways. Seriously, that woman was just a trophy to him. And when she stopped being that, he just saw her as a housemaid. I still feel confident in the choice I made not to marry Liz. I'm pouring myself into my new career. Yeah, I mean, he sounds pretty confident in the fact that this is the final breakup. And uh, yeah, I'm getting those vibes too. Even though this does feel like one of those couples that just break up endlessly and you're just stuck in this loop as if you're in Groundhog's Day or something. But no, I truly am getting the vibes that this is over for these two. And thank God, I, that's all I can say. And I just started working for an awesome broker right here in Northwest Arkansas. Okay, it's attached. remember that when you're showing clients it. Oh, I know. This is right. important. You listening? Okay, yeah. good. <laughs> And we get to see Big Ed trying to work his realtor job without Liz. And it seems like she was the brains of the operation as well, because clearly even the disdain that his mentor is talking to him with just goes to show that everybody views this man as a walking man child. Also, I don't think this dude's going to be good at selling houses. Maybe he will have that little spark in his eye that, you know, fools people into thinking that they're getting a good deal. But I don't know. I get too much, you know, car salesman vibes from this guy. And that's not really what you want in a realtor. But what would I know? I'm never going to be able to afford my own house anyways. So... This time, I want to be strong and I want to know that there is somebody out there for me. I don't know if there is, Ed. Like, this dude would seriously have to undergo years of personal therapy, which is, you know, not connected to a show or being filmed by any video cameras. And pretty much the opposite of what he did in Florida, even though he counts that as his only true therapy he's gotten and puts a lot of stock into the idea that that really helped him out as a person. It didn't. We just saw him regress. You know what happened. But yeah, Ed's continuing with the notion that he's able to find somebody. And now we're going to fast forward to when Liz has to drop off her daughter at the airport because she's going back with her father for some time. And it just seems like... Like Liz is losing everybody in her life right now. Gotta be some bad vibes going on over here. So we're bound to see some crying. Let's just say that. A few weeks ago, I thought I would be crying emotionally seeing Ed as I'm walking down the aisle. But now I'm crying as my daughter's leaving. And this just has to be earth shattering for Liz. Like, yeah, we talk trash about her all the time. We say, hey, we warned you. You should have seen it coming. Blah, blah, blah. Yada, yada. People do stupid things for love, or at least when they think they're in love. So I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt and assume that she truly thought she was going to be starting her life with Ed here in Arkansas. I don't know why she'd quit her job. I don't know why she'd completely uproot her life without that confidence that she had. So it really just is so sick and insidious that Ed led her down this trail only to get cold feet right before the wedding was supposed to happen. And of course, he's chilling. He's down there with his family. He's got his house he bought. He has the security that Liz so desperately yearns, and now he's taking that away from her again, only leaving her even more broken than when she met him. Uh, she's, she's on her first flight. Does Ed even know that she's gone? No. Has he even called you? No. So Liz is on the phone with her mom after dropping her daughter off at the airport, and it sounds like Ed has been completely ignoring Liz, not even giving her the time of day of checking in on her, seeing how she is post-breakup. I understand that a breakup does mean that, you know, you're no longer going to be together, but when it's something this serious and this girl is out here without a place to live because of you, you know, you kind of kicked her to the curb, you'd think he'd be checking in every once in a while, but nope, he's just back to his selfish old self looking for the next 20-something-year-old hottie he can find to destroy their lives as well. But everybody knew this was gonna happen, and I had faith that it wasn't. 
it worked out. It was so I was different like, after therapy. It was completely different. Shut up about the fucking therapy, Liz. I cannot handle this. You guys know I get so angry every time they bring up this damn therapy. I mentioned it earlier. For those of you that did not see this section of their saga, because I've been following these two idiots for years, on the most recent season before this, they went to some bull therapy in Florida, where basically they had Ed do this new age spiritual BS where he tries to like envision himself in a past life. He made a mockery of all of it, and then he went to the strip club with his friends and lied to Liz about it. That's pretty much what he accomplished in those two weeks, and they're putting so much stock into this, saying, after therapy it was so different, I swear! Oh, things were gonna be better! I don't know why I made her say her S's like that, but she just sounds so pathetic when she's crying, bro. And I get that it's a bummer that she really didn't listen to anybody else, and now she's embarrassed because of that, but that's the chance you're taking when you are ignoring literally everybody close to you in your life that's saying do not do this do not pursue this relationship what the hell else did you expect liz it's embarrassing mom it's so embarrassing if i had any any thought that this was gonna happen i would have never had Riley involved in this, I would have been. And now she's getting worked up into a frenzy thinking about the fact that she really did kind of, you know, mess up by bringing her daughter around Ed and getting her close to him, only to have him rip himself away from both of them in the end. You know, as much as this hurts for Liz, I'm sure her daughter feels the same way because, like I touched on in previous episodes, it's tough to have, you know, new people brought into your life when your parents are divorced and split up like that, and you kind of get comfortable with this person, then they're gone. So yeah, Liz, you really messed up, and I said that from the get-go from this season. As soon as I saw her daughter was staying with them, I was like, okay, this is where it crosses over from like cringe territory to actually they're just messing this person up for the sake of filming this show. So I'd feel bad for Liz, but also she should have understood that this was also a grave danger that she was putting herself and her kid in by entering the situation and uprooting her entire life to move down here with this bozo. Okay. I feel like the worst mom ever. I don't even have a home for my kid right now. And at the same time, I completely feel for Liz in terms of, you know, her operating from a place of trying to get security. And pretty much every time that she has given in to Ed again, it's because he has a place for them to live. He helps them pay bills, all this stuff that might make it sound like I'm saying she's a freeloader. No, but I'm saying every person, especially every parent, yearns for some sort of security so that they could be the backbone for their kid. And when you aren't able to provide that, that makes you feel so vulnerable as a parent, I'm sure. Which is another reason she's having this full on mental breakdown and crying, bawling her eyes out to her mom right now. Their story has just gotten so dark and emotional. Like, sometimes I do have to laugh about it only because it, it is the only way to get through this. Like, damn. This dude literally destroyed this woman's life. I don't have an apartment. I don't have a job. And now that Riley is gone, I am here alone. And like she touched on last episode or a couple episodes ago, she has been working on this real estate license. That's the only reason she doesn't have a job right now. They were supposed to both be doing that. So now that she has to move back to California, her entire, you know, year's worth of work or whatever, how long it's been, is basically thrown away because none of that is applicable in this new state. So he really, really has isolated her and cut off her options for stability herself, which only leads me to believe this was just all planned by Big Ed and his narcissistic, terrible, terrible tendencies. Here I am crying over him, and he, he could care less about me. So, yeah, that's the end of the episode, and sadly, I even waited a bit for this new episode that dropped, and they completely did not have Liz and Big Ed in it. So I was wondering, what the hell has Ed been doing since breaking up, since Liz has clearly been so torn up, and I've got some answers for you. Let's switch over to his Instagram posts, the land of unhingedness, and uh, just see what's up with Big Ed. Yep, that's right. Bro is hitting the gym. Honestly, congrats to him. I will never shame anybody for trying to get their physical fitness improved. You know, I'm somebody who I've always complained about the fact that I've not been able to be healthy and commit to the going to the gym, so I can't be sitting here talking trash, but it is funny to see him do his little toe-ups. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm gonna slow-mo that one for you guys so you could see it. But yeah, clearly his single arc is in full swing, and in between these posts are just like reposts of him, I don't know, with sponsored companies trying to post random BS. Hey, you guys, check it out. Listen, booking is now live for Thailand, you guys. Get in on the fun, okay? And if you're worried about financing, listen, you can make payments over time. It's not even that much money, but... You can make payments over time if that's easier for you. You guys, get ready. It's going to be seven days. He posts, like, TikToks he must enjoy. I don't know. His entire Instagram feed screams late Gen X, and uh, it's just kind of a useless rabbit hole to go down. But among the weightlifting, we just see Ed making pretty much useless trash-talking TikToks, which all also scream, you know, I'm 50-something years old. He's got the whole package here. He's got the millennial pause, the weird, obscure sound that, you like, I don't know how you even found this on TikTok because it was all only exclusive 
exclusively other 50 year olds using the sound. His inability to mouth the words correctly at all, like just, I, I'm, I'm hyping this up so much. Watch this cringe. When people say they don't like me, I put on glasses. <laughs> to see if I give a f and I know. <laughs> That's right, he doesn't give a F, okay guys? And he's showing it to you by putting on his coolest pair of shades and, you know, improperly mouthing the words to this TikTok. And there's more where that came from. Watch this next video, which is, I swear, I think about 20 seconds, but it feels like 10 years. So I'll see you guys in a decade. I don't like you. What? I said, I don't like you. <laughs> you don't like me? No. doesn't scream I have nothing to do with my life now that I'm pretty much, you know, divorced and single and lonely and bored in my house. I don't know what is. But also, did you guys with keen eyes notice something about Big Ed's appearance in that one? That's right. Post breakup, my man's back to dyeing his damn hair. If we get a long dyed jet black hair era Ed again, I don't know how I'm going to handle myself because that is truly where some of his most cringe moments were born was that era. I know many of you are from that time and uh, I don't know why. That's just exciting to see. And I don't know if he intended to post this as a thirst trap or something, but yeah, you get to see him waxing his nose. These posts all seem benign, but they give us more insight and look into his single life than we could ever ask for. Honestly, like it just gives us so many details about truly how boring this man's existence is without Liz and this show going on. When he eventually falls into obscurity again, I don't know what he's going to do to keep himself busy. But as a last note, it seems like we have another positive development in Ed's life. I don't know if that's something we want to encourage or be happy with at this point, but it seems like post Liz breakup, his daughter has come back into his life as we see her surprise him for his birthday. Funny little note there. I don't know if his caption is wrong and he's like misremembering his age himself because of old age or if his family truly got it wrong, but apparently they put the wrong number of candles for his birthday on his birthday cake. So even people in his family don't give a damn to remember the nitty gritty details of Big Ed's life. <laughs> Just another sad post in the sea of his deranged Instagram. So yeah, that's a look into Big Ed's life after this episode. Don't worry, there's still the episode where Liz has to come home and pick up all her stuff where we are going to see an explosive and downright disgusting fight. So if you enjoyed this one, make sure you drop a like and if you want to see more make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss an upload of mine thanks so much for watching to the very end of this one and i'll catch you guys in the next video until next time peace out